Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to this session of FETC in Orlando, Florida. Today is January the 15th, 2010, so welcome here. My name is Brad Flickinger, and this presentation is entitled Teaching with Netbooks. Let's get started. All right, a little bit about myself. I am a technology teacher at Bethke Elementary in Timnath, Colorado, as well as an author and a speaker. And we are going to, to be talking all about how netbooks are used in schools today. So let's start off with this idea. There are some people out there who say that we don't really need to be worrying about getting our students to have 21st century skills and these type of things because they will just naturally acquire these skills. You know, they've already got cell phones, they, they probably have more technology than our teachers do, and that they're going to naturally get these abilities. Well, on the flip side of that, it would be like saying, let's give students just uh, pencils and paper because they will naturally learn how to write and how to solve math problems and these things. You see how it just doesn't work that way? Because it brings up this point here. Owning the tools does not equal having the skills. All right. Just because that student has an iPod Touch doesn't mean they know how to truly use the power of it. They might just be playing games or texting, but they don't truly know how to do it. Just like a child with a pencil and paper might draw pictures of daisies, but not know how to solve algebra, those type of things, okay? And on the other hand of that, we cannot teach the skills without having the tools. So we could do all the little textbooks and diagrams on how to cut wood with a saw, but no one is really going to develop that skill until you grab the saw, put it to the wood, and cut it, okay? So this brings us up to the idea of netbooks. We'll be talking all about 21st century skills, and the reality is, is to get the 21st century skills, um, netbooks are now in the perfect place to do that for our schools, because just like we said in the slide before, we need the tools, and finally tools are becoming affordable for us to have in our classroom so that we can get the 21st century skills. And we're off chasing around curriculum and ideas where the tools are what's really important. We need to have the computers. We need to have the computing power in the hands of our students to be able to do this. Whether we're talking netbooks or other things, this is really where 21st century skills are gonna finally really be kicking in. So let's talk about these skills in a um, classroom that we did a test with last spring. So spring of 2009, we looked at it this way. We did K through 8, and we looked uh, in the gray bars here, you can see the time spent in the classroom measured in hours in, in a, using technology. So time spent actually hands-on technology. And so kindergarten, about half hour a week, all the way up to 8th grade, which is getting about 90 minutes a week. And then we gave them an evaluation on their 21st century skills on a scale from 0 to 15. And we could see the correlation between um, time and having the skills. And of course, the kindergarten evaluation was a lot different than the eighth grade evaluation, but you know what I'm saying here. We put on a scale from 15 so we could have a relation with our hours here. And we could really see the more time they're, they're using and touching the technology, the more skills that they have. So we decided to get 24 netbooks, put them in a fourth grade classroom for 12 weeks, and see what happens. And here we go. Let's take a look at this graph. So after 12 weeks, we measured, and you can see this big spike here, they were almost up to 12 hours a week of hands-on technology time. So 11.8 is what it really worked out to be. And then when we evaluated them on the 21st century skills, the same evaluation for fourth grade students uh, as other control groups, students that didn't have netbooks, these kids almost got a perfect score, nearly perfect. And when we looked at the questions that they missed, it was really only because of curriculum. We hadn't talked about the digital citizen side of things, of proper citation of photographs and, and articles and clips and things, and um, things about uh, taking music or something online that you're not supposed to. So we just hadn't covered it yet in the 12 weeks. So it's not like they didn't really have the skill yet, but you know, but you know what I'm saying here. So you can see this incredible correlation that we found with them having the technology to use and then having the 21st century skills. So this comes down to the two biggest factors for our students having 21st century skills really are time and 
the hardware, the technology itself. You've got to have the time using the technology. You have those things in place and we can finally get our students the 21st century skills that they need. So the key to 21st century skills is more time using technology. That's what it boils down to. This is the whole essence of what we're talking about. So here we are. These netbooks, and I'm calling it the net, netbook invasion. Uh, this coming Christmas, Christmas 2010, so it'll be you know almost a year from now, you will see more netbooks being bought by the, the individual people themselves. So as schools, we've always panicked saying, okay, we need to come up with money to get all these things where our students are going to have them, regardless of what we do as schools. These kids are going to have them within the next four years. You're going to see such a, a huge part of our population having their own computers because of the affordability of these netbooks. So whether we want them to come in or not, they're, they're coming. And netbooks are going to change everything. And so in the next section of our three-part series here, we're going to be talking about how those netbooks are used in the classroom and the things that we saw during our 12-week test that, uh, that we use netbooks, which then 12 weeks then led into fourth and fifth grade getting one-to-one -one netbook computers for them all to have. So meet me back in the next section because here we go. End of part one, and we'll be starting part two next.